Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am Mayor Chelsea Reed, and before I turn things over to our police chief, Clint Shannon, I would like to say a few words. First and foremost, I want to reassure our community that they are our priority. Our city is committed to addressing emergencies, such as this one that happened at the Gardens Mall last week, with the utmost diligence. As you'll hear from Chief Shannon, this incident is being thoroughly investigated. I would like to take this opportunity, though, to commend our dedicated first responders for their swift actions at the mall last Wednesday. I am so proud, we all are so proud, of the job they did in securing the mall when the gunshots rang out. Their professionalism and commitment to, un excuse me, their professionalism and commitment undoubtedly played a crucial role in keeping the environment safe and as orderly as possible. I would also like to take a moment to thank the men and women of the Detective Bureau who join us here today and the multitude of partner agencies who worked vigorously in assisting with this case. And with that, I will ask our Chief Shannon to the podium. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Chief Clint Shannon of the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department. Uh, we've called this press conference to provide information, including an arrest of a subject involved involving the shooting at the Gardens Mall on Valentine's Day. Uh, before I get started, I want to uh, make sure I recognize our law enforcement partners that are on stage with me. Um, Palm Beach Sheriff's Office Colonel Tony Araujo and his staff. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Assistant Special Agent in Charge, Chris Caldwell. Uh, our State Attorney's Office, Assistant State Attorney, Diva Cassis. Uh, Jupiter Police Department, Chief Dave England. Palm Beach Gardens Fire Rescue, Chief Keith Breyer. North Palm Beach Police Department, Assistant Chief Rob Kaliski. And Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Special Agent in Charge, Christopher Robinson. Uh, Thank you all for your partnerships. Uh, incredible, incredible. Um, this incident started on Wednesday, February 14th at 2.36 p.m. when the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department received calls of possible gunshots from the west end of the Gardens Mall. Should I turn off Palm Beach Gardens Police Officers were already present inside the mall and they arrived on the scene within seconds. The mall was placed on lockdown and officers initiated a methodical search for suspects and to assist any injured persons. While the search was being conducted, officers from the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department, Jupiter Police Department, Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, North Palm Beach Police Department, Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, Palm Beach County School District Police, the Gardens Mall Security, all assisted safely escorting hundreds of shoppers and employees out of the mall. Approximately two hours later, 28-year-old Comarcio Antonio Mitchell of West Palm Beach arrived at St. Mary's Hospital with a non-threatening gunshot, non-life-threatening gunshot wound. Uh, Mr. Mitchell's pictures are depicted over here to my right, your left. Mitchell has an extensive criminal history dating back to 2009 with 35 felony charges, 10 felony convictions, and two incarcerations. Some of the most notable crimes he's been charged with are first degree homicide in 2011, homicide in 2015, armed burglary, robbery, grand theft, carrying a concealed weapon, narcotics trafficking, possession of cocaine and marijuana, possession of a weapon by a convicted felon, and probation violation. Mitchell was not cooperative with investigators and claimed he did not know who shot him. A parallel search and investigation into the shooting was occurring while investigators were interviewing Mitchell at the hospital. On this. Footage from the mall showed Mitchell walking down the escalator from the second floor toward two black males who were also riding the escalator to the first floor. Mitchell was seen approaching the other males in an aggressive manner and appeared to have a weapon concealed under his shirt. As Mitchell approached, a male wearing a purple hooded sweatshirt pulled out a gun and fired at Mitchell. <clears throat> Mitchell then ran back up the escalator and ultimately out of the mall. Mitchell was seen discarding a pistol in the parking lot of the mall before running off of the property. The shooter 
also ran out of the mall with another black male wearing a green long sleeve shirt. After, after an exhaustive search of the entire mall property, officers did not find any victims, the shooter, or any other persons of interest. Palm Beach Gardens Fire Rescue transported one patient to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries and four more people were evaluated on site for stress-related conditions. Even without Mitchell's cooperation, Palm Beach Gardens police detective worked diligently to identify 35-year-old Devon Jamal Graham of Riviera Beach as the shooter. And his picture is, is uh, over here on my left, your right. Um, Graham also has an extensive criminal history as a career criminal, and his, his history dates back to 2011. Graham has been charged with 30 felony charges, has six felony convictions, and one incarceration. Some of his most notable crimes that he's been charged with are aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, robbery with a firearm, felony hit and run, grand theft motor vehicle, firing a weapon in a public place, discharge of a firearm from a vehicle, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, possession of cocaine, trafficking heroin and fentanyl, probation violation, and fraud. A vehicle that Graham and the other male arrived in at the Gardens Mall was subsequently located in the mall parking lot. Found inside the vehicle, over here to my left, you'll see the picture depicting an AK-47 assault rifle, another handgun, and narca narcotics packaged for sale that included fentanyl, cocaine, and marijuana. An exhaustive round-the-clock search for the subject involved in this case resulted in the apprehension of Mitchell on February 16th in West Palm Beach. Mitchell is being held on a federal charge of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. These charges carry a minimum mandatory sentence of 15 years to life. A warrant has been obtained for Devon Graham for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. While this is only one charge, additional charges will be sought. I want to address the media's concerns about the lack of information released during this investigation. Although we greatly value our relationship and our partnerships, it was imperative for the integrity of this investigation to not, not, and also not impede locating the offenders in this case and for the safety of our officers and agents that were searching for some really, really bad, bad guys. Uh, that certain information was withheld. We clearly indicated early on that this was not an active shooter incident. It was not a random act and that this was targeted. Our local and federal investigators have worked selflessly and tirelessly to locate these two individuals and get them off our street before they have the chance to wreak any more havoc. Um, with that, I would like to sincerely thank uh, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, the U.S. Marshal Service, West Palm Beach PD, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, of course our State Attorney's Office and the U.S. Attorney's Office and all of our local partners for their incredible support and assistance during this investigation. Uh, although obviously an incident like this creates a lot of chaos, um, I could not be prouder of the men and women that responded to the scene of the mall that day and uh, had a plan and the training, our, our training all paid off working together uh, to make sure that everybody was safe and we did a methodical search to make, make sure that we were able to get everybody out of the mall safely. Um, with that, this investigation is continuing. We are continuing to search uh, for Mr. Graham as we speak. Uh, one of the reasons we're releasing this information today too is because the federal charges were unsealed this morning against Mr. Mitchell. So we felt it was imperative to get this information out. Um, with that, I'll be glad to take a few questions. And again, just keep in mind, it's still an active investigation. So all the questions may not be able to be answered. First of all, without being able to, and as you know, we did a press release right away, um, without being able to answer questions, it doesn't do a lot of good for me to stand but before you and keep telling you I can't answer that question. So that's, that's really the reason for it. Uh, two real quick questions. First off, was this a gang-related shooting? 
Uh, we believe there are gang implications. Both of these individuals know each other. They have a history together. Um, and so it, we do believe there's a gang affiliation to it. Are they both gang members? Uh, we believe that they're affiliated with gangs, yes. What was the motivation for the shooting? Why would someone shoot someone in the wall? I think it goes back to, to different beats. I don't think the venue had anything to do with the shooting. It just happened to be these individuals uh, came and had a confrontation at this location. This could have happened anywhere. Uh, there, was, there was nothing that we can determine the mall had anything to do with it. Do you have any idea what they were doing at the mall that day and why they chose that day to be there in the first place? Uh, we do not. One of the individuals was shopping at the mall. That's, that's the only information we have now. I think you can make your, we all can make our own conclusion on that. These are some very, very violent individuals um, that are walking freely amongst us. So you can see their charges, you can see their weapons charges. Uh, is it a concern? Absolutely. What needs to be done? Um, you know, it's, I don't have the answers to that. We put people in jail. There's the... Um, you know, even even with a quick response, and we had officers on the scene. Um, they were they were out of the mall in seconds. So. Uh, do you know how they got away? They were on foot or a pickup? Uh, we do not. Um, that's part of the investigation. Although, as you see, we we've, we've recovered their vehicle that was left at the mall. You noticed, uh, Mr. Mitchell has two arrests for homicide. Was he ever convicted of these charges? Um, I don't have great detail of it. My, what I was told is one of them I do not believe he was convicted on, and the first the first homicide charge was as a juvenile. So I don't know what the what the uh, the disposition of that was. Um, I can only describe it the, the escalator between P.F. Chang and Rio's that entrance. If that if that helps you, it's toward the the west end of the mall. It was too early on in the investigation. I don't even know at what point we came in possession of the surveillance footage at that point. You know, so it was it was early on, very early on. Do you think Grant is still in Florida or still in the United States? Don't know. It's part of our ongoing investigation. Chief, can you talk about the person of interest involved in this case? Um, there is a third person that that you see wearing green sweatshirt that was uh, with accompanying Graham. Um, we are interested in anybody with information on him as far as an identity to, to, uh, to come forward. Um, but again, that's, that's also part of the, the ongoing investigation. Do you feel that mall should have double checkers? You know, you can discuss uh, a lot of security precautions, obviously, which we won't go into, into, uh, into detail. And the mall is extremely secured, I will tell you that. Metal detectors are, as you see, as, as they're looking at them now in schools, metal detectors have to generally have to be, you have to have personnel to run metal detectors. I, I personally don't know of another mall that I've ever been to that has metal detectors, but um, you know, that's, that's really not, not up to us. Uh, as I discussed, he's, he's looking also at possession of, of a firearm by a convicted felon. And with our state attorney's office, we're uh, looking to seek additional charges based on the shooting. Um, Chief um, Mitchell was in the hospital, correct? Uh, correct. And wasn't he just get treated and released? Correct. Before he was treated and released. released. Yep. And then, and then where did he go? Uh, until he was taken into custody, we're not sure. Do you know where he was taken into custody? In West Palm Beach. All right. Um, again, thank you all for being here. As additional information becomes available, uh, we'll make sure that uh, that we get it to you. But thank you.